welcome to a video by DJSPRC. I have on the table today my Creighton 6S version 3. You might ask me, how do I know this is a version 3? Super easy. I have a version 1. Uh, version 1, a lot of stuff this vehicle doesn't have. The motor is not black too. And the version 3 has these uh, kind of flappers. At the end of the day, these to protect stuff from your tire from going into your vehicle. I just removed them, super easy, uh, four bolts. And version three doesn't have the center brace. Like version one, version two, version three doesn't have it. Version four has the center brace. That will be another video. I do want to install the center brace in this vehicle here. Uh, that would mean a little bit modification in the middle, the middle here. But it's not hard. You'll see that's an upcoming video. But what I want to do today is install the aluminum center brace. I call it center brace, but bracing, front bracing, with the uh, EXB plate right here you can keep this plate if you want to you just need to oversize this hole right here to a four mil for not that more expensive I said why not I'll just change it I think this was uh, 12 bucks Canadian if I remember correctly if you guys want to do it too here's the part numbers uh, she, he, he. yeah. The front center chassis brace is ARA three two zero five six four. The aluminum top plate is ARA three two zero five nine eight. But she really doesn't want. I'm starting to have issues with this camera here really doesn't want to zoom, uh, put zoom but uh, focus on this small writing a little bit better now because I have my finger but let's do this it's not hard to do basically you'll need a 2 mil and a 2.5 I'm gonna grab the vehicle put it this way I'm just gonna grab a car stand that I have just to physically support the uh, middle of it just to prevent it of having any loose here let's remove these uh, smaller screws here Come on. Yeah. Wrong screwdriver. I'm not going to remove this one that holds the plastic brace. I'll show you why in a couple of seconds here. Okay. Now, what we're going to do is remove these two here. These here holds the steering post in place. You might need, because basically in the middle is a barrel with two screws that holds it. Sometimes when you'll try to remove the top one, your bottom will spin freely. You'll need to hold it. Even sometimes you'll hold it and it will unscrew itself. You'll need to play with it a bit. I was lucky this one here came out very easy the other side I had to put another screwdriver underneath remove these two here now you'll see your plate will come a little bit loose now there's two other screws in front here where my fingers are that holds your arms 
you're going to want to loosen these to the point that you're just unhooking the back here. But before we do this, prevent us from having this dismantle itself, we're going to remove the screw for the center brace. Turn the vehicle upside down. It's this one right here. If you're not sure, just put your hand inside, follow, and you'll be able to guide yourself. Put that aside, flip it back. The other thing I just noticed, <laughs> I'll show you. When removing these two screws here, they do have some kind of a bushing. Be careful. This one keeps on falling. The other one stays there. I don't know why. That's just plastic. Now we're going to remove the hinge pins. Not all the way, just enough to loosen in the back here. And now this plate, so I didn't take it out enough here. Sometimes you'll need to take a screwdriver and apply some pressure to remove them. Let's do the other one. There we go. Now, your plate will come out. And instead of doing this one and trying to finagle, uh, take it this out, you're taking everything in one shot out. Let's grab the vehicle, put it aside. Now we're gonna concentrate on this guy here. We're gonna remove the center brace. We're not gonna reuse that screw. Put that aside. Now we need to remove these guys here and transfer them to the new plate. Now just remember, there's three types of screws. I always put them how I took them off the vehicle. One each side, one each side, one dead center. Like this, put that like that, and there's your plate. I try to keep everything in alignment. That way, if I'm not sure how it goes back, or ah, where's this screw, where did, where, did I, where did this one go? I'm not sure. There's always a reference to be able to look at my table Oh yeah, that's right. That's how I took it off. Now we're going to open this bag. That's nice. They give you EXB stickers. Wow. A little bit lighter. Not much, but the plate will go back to the same way. How we took it off. Now we're going to grab this guy again, align it, flip this, and we're going to put this guy back, making sure I put it back where it was, grab our center screw, And don't go full blast on the speed if you're using a drill or you could 100% do it by hand. I'm, yeah, let's say I'm a little bit lazy. And if you're using a drill and it has a clutch, this guy has a clutch, put it on like say setting two, 
or worst case, even setting one, and there's less chances your strip is screwed. Here's your piece back. Now we're gonna open their center brace, or should I say chassis brace. And this one too comes with uh, stickers. One part I forgot to take out is we will need four mil screws. There we go. That would be part ARA 722418. You only need one for the middle hole here. Even then, this is not correct. I do apologize. It is 721414 because it is a button head, not a, not a flat head. Only need one. And again, what we're going to do is pre install it right here. And so it is a little bit loose. We can tighten afterwards, but our brace is done. Put this aside. And what I do, what I always do normally, I take the screw that I took out and put it back in. Right here, because it, uh, it does have a nut. And if I ever decide in your future to swap this back out, if I'm selling the vehicle or something, at least I have all the parts. Or if I do sell the vehicle, I'll leave everything with it. The new owner, I'll give him all the spare parts. Bring the vehicle back. Again, like I said, to make sure we put our spacers slash kind of washers back in. Align it. Kind of align the brace, you'll see your hole, but that we don't worry for the moment. And let's put this back in one piece. I'm going to start with the bigger guys. And put these back in. And there is something I forgot to mention that I did in advance. I'll show you here. And these screws here, you just want them snug. You don't want to over push them. These 2.5, because they're only screwed in plastic. You'll notice your a -arm, top a arms, you can physically slide them back and forth. When I remove these, there is some spacers. There's four of them uh, that you need to put back in. When you're gonna remove these first screws, you might see them pop everywhere. I always make sure before doing my video that I don't have any seized screws, things like that. I just hate stopping my video midway. And let's screw these two back in front here. Okay. All the front is buttoned back up. Let's go underneath and do our last screw. And you're able to put your finger underneath and align it at the same time. Like 
Oops. And then the other thing I have left to do and reinstall these guys here. On the correct side. Yeah. <laughs> Put these back here. And then have fun with my vehicle. And this is how you install the EXB uh, front brace, I call it. But it's basically front center chassis brace, should I say. This is how you do it. If you guys have any questions or comments, post them below. I'll be gladly to answer you. And don't forget, hit that subscribe button. And give it a thumbs up. It does help the channel a lot. And I do appreciate it. Thank you for watching.